Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Yeah. So, I think people in the media loves negativity. It's never been about the positive things you do. People love to keep a narrative going where it's like, oh, well, this is how that person acts or they're always been like that when they never, ever met the person. You know, it's it's the same thing with how Kwame Brown was saying what he was saying about how people were just writing him off and saying he was this lazy type of player when he really didn't get a fair shake. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's just crazy to me how we live in a narrative where people live in a narrative world now. Journalism is dead. Like, you know, when I was growing up, you know, you had to read the paper for journalism. So the journalists had the power. They've always had the power. They had the power to make something seem like it was this and that. They would write narratives in that time as well. When it came to sports, when it came to the news, came to politics, they would write a story that was narrative based. And that's how they've always been. They're writers. Writers are like your favorite book that you like to read. It has the good, the bad, the dramatics, the, the suspense, and then it has the love story and all that stuff that you fall in love with. Now, <clears throat> I know people are listening like, what you mean? Um, Vanessa Bryant surprised um, Kobe's sister, Shariah Washington, with a Tesla. Um, she basically... Um, you know, she basically, um, you know, gave, surprised um, his sister, Shariah Washington, with a flashy new car. Um, Vanessa documented the moment Shariah found out she'd be getting the keys to a white Tesla and photos and videos shared to Instagram. Surprise at Shariah Wash exclamation part we love you Venetian caption her purse tesla tunnel here she comes vegas to cali hashtag born tunnel um so remember the tesla ceo elon musk the boring company recently built an underground transportation system in sin city called the las vegas convention center loop According to their website, a separate loop aimed to connect parts of Vegas and eventually to Los Angeles is under construction. Now, innovations of technology aside, um, Shariah said she was genuinely shocked by the gesture. Oh, my God. So this is this happened today. She gushed on Instagram. Thank you so much, V. I'm still speechless. This is absolutely amazing. Love you. In a separate video, Vanessa captured Shariah checking out the Tesla bells and whistles as she asked her, is that, is that my bestie in the Tessie? Do you like your car? Um, so, Shariah and Kobe's other sister, Shia, Shia Bryant, Bryant Tab, have become integral parts of Vanessa's support system since he Daughter Gianna Bryan and seven others were killed in the January 2020 helicopter crash. Laughter is the best medicine. Vanessa captioned an Instagram video with Shariah. It's the first anniversary of their death's approach. It's been so tough. Thanks for flying in. I needed this at Shariah Washington. My sister-in-law is my hashtag hype man. And... Before surprising Shariah, Vanessa went to bat against Nike after the shoes she helped design in Gianna's memory were allegedly released without her permission. Um, and you guys have been hearing stuff like that about the, which was to me very downright despicable because that's what Nike does. That's what they do. They don't care about the well-being or the emotion of what the family's going through. But this is what I don't get. Why wasn't this story publicized? 
Oh, I know why. Because it doesn't fit the narrative of Kobe and his parents are battling each other. And it's because of the daughter-in-law, Vanessa. And it's like, you guys don't understand what Vanessa has been going through. Vanessa Bryant was never accepted by the parents. The, door, the, the sister-in-laws have been in contact and have been doing their best to bridge the gap between the parents and her and, and Kobe because that's their brother. They love Kobe. <laughs> that's their baby brother. They love Kobe to death. And when Kobe passed away, it, it hurt because, you know, he wanted to one day be able to sit down with his parents, Vanessa and all of them hash it out. But see, people, this is the thing. The media paints Kobe bad. If it's something bad, then they're going to put it out there like the Hall of Fame thing. Like I explained to you guys that they never really had a relationship. And I could see the mother and Joe being the problem. And I really believe it's the mother. I don't think the dad really cares. <laughs> I just think he's just supporting his wife and they're going along with it. And like I said in that video, to sell your son's stuff without even talking to him first is disrespectful. My mother, I don't care how old I was, even when I was 15 or even to now, me being 36, you know, it, you know, it's, um, it's crazy. I mean, 35, I'm, my apologies, <laughs> my apologies. I'm trying to make myself older <laughs> than I am. It's crazy. I'm going to be 36, man, this year. Oh, God. How time flies. But Vanessa, man, is she has done a lot to keep that family together. Remember, she has two little girls, like two baby girls. You know, and it hurts. You know, to not have the guy who you loved and came in with and been through hell with. I mean, she went, Vanessa could have split up a long time ago and taken half of Kobe's stuff. And that's the reality. People don't see the loyalty she has shown. She could have, when they when he was done playing ball, she could have did like the rest of these wives and said, you know what? I'm done. I'm out. I, I put my years in. So now it's time for me to go like KG's wife did and others. No, she loved Kobe. She loved Kobe. <laughs> that was her rock. That was her baby. Like she would say her boo. And for the media and for you toxic fans to destroy this woman because somebody put out in the report that her parents were disrespected and did. How do we know? You know why Vanessa hasn't made a statement about that? You want to know why probably? And this is all allegedly. I believe Vanessa's not. Vanessa's like, look, I'm done with it. Because I believe her and Kobe's mom have talked plenty of times. And I believe that she is... She is being a B. And I really believe that because I know how black mothers are about their sons. And she wanted them to marry. She wanted Kobe to marry a black girl, but he married a Latina. And this one ignorant person was talking about, oh, he's giving his money to the Latina and not the black women. Look, black women have got to understand it. Look. You guys had plenty opportunities to be with somebody. It's not about you. If you want to be with an athlete, go be with an athlete. But don't blame Kobe for falling in love with somebody he fell in love with. You know, one of my homeboys, he fell in love with a white woman. You know, me, I'm not real 
keen on inter interracial relationships, you know, but it happens. You don't know who you might like. And that just is what it is. You can't keep harping on the bad. You got to look at the good. And this is why Kobe was winning in life. That's why he was winning off the court. Chris Cervantes, who is a great supporter of the channel, great dude. I love Chris Cervantes when he comes on because Chris is very intellectual. He sees the game. You know, we may disagree, but it's a friendly disagreement. It's not a, man, my point is right. My point is not right. I don't feel like I'm always right. I'm not. I'm not always right. I can be proven wrong and I'll admit I'm wrong. You know, I don't care about being right or being wrong. If it is what it is, it is what it is. But a lot of the media, I blame you for this. You guys have the audacity to put out negative about Vanessa and the family when you didn't even see her talking to the sisters. You know why? Because everybody doesn't like to put things out there. And you can't, as the listener and as the reader, go along with the narrative without doing your deal, do, I mean, your due diligence to find out what that story is and what it's about. You can't do this. Congratulations to Vanessa for that. I'm, I'm happy for her that she's mending. I just hope one day that the, the parents could check. Because I, I believe the parents, I hope they've been able to be in the grandchildren's life. I think they have. I just think it's just the mother. I think most most of the time the mother and the and the father don't get along with the the grandparents, <laughs> but the the grandchildren when they come they're all over the place. But the two youngest ones, oh my God, they look like Kobe spit them out. <laughs> the two youngest babies, oh my goodness, that is Kobe's. All of them look like Kobe. <laughs> Like I'm trying to see what where what did who took after Vanessa? <laughs> Vanessa, like damn. I guess my genes just said Kobe, that Mamba baby. <laughs> but I just wanted to highlight this. Congrats to her sister Sharia Washington. Um and shout out to her other sister, Shay. Um, that's that's very good and very touching. I wanted to put some positive up because we've been talking about sports and all this other stuff. I'm going to get back to making other news. It's just that sports has just been engulfing me right now because we got the playoffs going on. And then when football season come, oh, goodness. You know, football season will give me a little break <laughs> in between. You yeah. know, so... Thank you for listening and please like, comment, and share the video um, and hit that notification bell to um, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell to select all to receive notifications. And if you like what you hear, you can donate to the page by cash apping me at the word welcome, the number two, and then HDII TV. Thank you for listening and we're out. Deezy.